So previously we have seen that the unit complex numbers, they form a group called U1, where U stands for unitary and 1 is, uh, well, 1 by 1 matrix. And we've also seen that the uh, rotation transformation matrix R theta, which is a special orthogonal matrix, uh, it's a 2 by 2 matrix, so it uh, is uh, its group is SO2. Now these two groups are actually isomorphic, okay, so they, say, they share the same basic structure, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. But to do that, I'm just going to revert back to um, describing our complex number Z in matrix form. So if you remember, that looks like this, A minus B, B, A. So every complex number A plus B, I can be represented as, as a matrix, um, like this, as we've seen in a previous video, where A and B are the are real values, and the, they're the uh, real and imaginary part of the um, of the complex number. Okay, um, so if we think about applying R theta to Z, okay, so we would have cosine theta sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta times a minus b b a okay and that will give us um a a new uh, complex number okay a brand new complex number um and the result you get if you multiply these two matrices together is cosine theta a plus sine theta b minus cosine theta b plus sine theta a minus sine theta a plus cosine theta b sine theta b plus cosine a okay so if you do the matrix multiplication that is what you should get now that is equal to some new um, complex number let's call it a dash minus b dash b dash a dash now if you compare that with if you apply r theta to a regular vector a b okay in the two-dimensional plane okay um, so you would do again cosine theta sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta times a b what you get is cosine theta a plus sine theta b minus sine theta a plus cosine theta b and that's equal to some new vector a dash b dash okay so we're applying the same rotation matrix first to a matrix that represents a complex number and second to a vector but you can see that the answer you get is actually the same so a dash is this entry here on the top left and a dash is the top entry here also. They are the exact same. Okay, likewise with b dash. So this demonstrates um, that you get the same result, uh, whichever one, whichever um, one you apply. So they have the same underlying structure. Okay, and that demonstrates basically that u um, one, the group u one, is isomorphic to the group s o two. And you can see that also, if you look at u at the top and r theta, they're both um,
parameterized only by theta. Okay, and they're both um, some kind of uh, rotation operation. Okay, so um, they are in fact isomorphic. Okay, in the next uh, video we'll be moving on to a new topic, which I think um, you will find very interesting.